Now, let's turn to Adventist historian David Trim. This week, disappointed Millerites established the very first Sabbath-keeping Adventist church. Welcome to This Week in Adventist History. On December 31, 1899, the first Hispanic SDA church began in Tucson, Arizona. Sometime in 1899, Pastor C.D.M. Williams and a student, Cole Porter, from Healdsburg College went to Tucson in the Arizona Territory as it then was. One of the doors they knocked on was that of Pastor Marcial Serna, a Methodist Episcopal minister in his late 30s, who they eventually converted. Within a few weeks of that, Serna had, in his own turn, converted all the members of his church but one, and they were all baptized together on the last day of 1899. And in the first week of January 1843, a Millerite Adventist evangelist, Joshua Goodwin, worked in the village of Washington, New Hampshire. He reported in the Millerite magazine, The Signs of the Times, that the Lord is reviving his work graciously in this section of country. Never did I witness a more powerful work of God than I have witnessed here. This was an important event for Adventist history because by the end of 1844, through the influence of two Seventh-day Baptists, Rachel Oakes and Frederick Wheeler, more than a dozen of the disappointed Millerite congregation in Washington, New Hampshire, had become Sabbath keepers. It thus lays claim to being the site of the first Sabbatarian Adventist church in the world. And eventually, an official Seventh-day Adventist church was established there in 1862. Who knows how different Seventh-day Adventist history might have been were it not for the events of this week in 1843.